After two and a half years, the Ministry of Health has discontinued its weekly COVID-19 media briefings. With decreasing virus figures, Health Minister Terence Dial Singh says the ministry is comfortable that there is no immediate threat to the healthcare system. Zuna Lala reports. So today marks the end of our regularly scheduled press conferences at TTT. Health Minister Terence Dial Singh says health officials have been tracking the progress of COVID-19, especially since the lifting of the mask mandate. He says although there was a slight increase in cases following the decision, case numbers have both peaked and decreased significantly since then. Uh, then, as expected, by the 10th of August, it went up to 265. On the 17th of August, 280, where it peaked in this current period. As of today, our rolling seven-day average is 130. The positivity rate in particular has also decreased from 39% on August 17th to just 21.7% along with ICU and hospital occupancy. The rolling average for deaths remain at 3, but Mr. Dialsing says it continues to be mostly elderly unvaccinated persons. Despite this, he believes the ministry is now in a good position to stop the weekly updates. When we look at all these figures and uh, we feel fairly comfortable that there is no immediate threat to the healthcare system. He believes the ministry can now place a little more effort in other areas. We want to move on to dealing with a lot of other issues like our blood donation drive, our NCDs, mental health and so on. So we need um, to reprioritize and refocus. Mr. Dial Singh says if the need arises, the Ministry of Health will hold a media conference but will be done at the headquarters in Port of Spain. Sonolala. TTT News. And the Ministry of Health says its daily COVID-19 clinical update will now be shared on a weekly basis on Tuesdays only. And an elderly male is this country's latest COVID-19 victim. The Ministry of Health said he had multiple comorbidities. His death takes Trinidad and Tobago's death toll for the virus to 4,195. There are also 117 new cases of the virus. This reflects samples taken during the period 19th and 20th September and takes active cases to 4,188.